Hello! So today it's gonna be another reroll game. I think this time I play Zoe again, um, but I think I commit a lot earlier. I think one of the problems I had last Zoe game that I posted was that I didn't commit as early. And I, I still like had like a pretty good like win out type of situation. Um, but if you don't know, you can play Zoe reroll with like a ghostly line. Um, I recently did a video on it. This is just another one. Uh, I'm kind of just winding down for this set. I tried playing a bunch today and I kind of reminded myself why I hate this set so much. Uh, I don't mean that in like a miserable mean way. I just mean like the whole time I played this set, I didn't really have fun with it. And it felt more like a chore than anything to play this set. So I'm really hope I'm really excited for set 12. Uh, because set 12, if you don't know, there's going to be um, a post about it probably tomorrow. So I'm going to do a, a reaction to that. Maybe I'll go live for it. And then uh, the PBE for set, so the beta, so like the, the first ch uh, chance you can play the set, is actually going to be uh, on the 17th on Wednesday. So I'm kind of winding down with these last couple of videos that I've kind of resolved myself that, yeah, I'm just never going to play this set again. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of glad that it's over. So, you know, the last couple of days, we're just, we're, I'm just hard forcing a couple reroll lines just to make my uh, my tutorials more relevant to everybody. There's scoreboard scrapper, which is pretty awkward. Uh, but then there's two healthy. Two healthy is really good with like the Shen lines. Um, because of the encounter, I get to reroll the augments in extra time. I'm basically looking if I can get a hero augment because I have a Shen and I have a Yorick and my items are pretty good for both of them. So I really wanted to have either uh, ethereal blades for Shen or I wanted to have, um, what's it called? Midnight Siphon for Yorick. So I didn't get any of them, which really sucks because like, you know, I, I think it would have been really great if I had either of those because I don't think I have a good version of either of those comps on this channel because every time I get it offered, I'm in the worst possible spot. I've never had a Thero Blades or um, Midnight Siphon offered to me when I had a copy of Shen or Yorick. <laughs> like I've never had it offered to me. This entire set, I've played like four, almost 400 games now. Which isn't a lot, mind you, but still, I'm, I had it. I think there was one time I played Shen, but it was back when um, it was back when the Shen was bugged. If you didn't know, um, there was a patch where uh, Ethereal Blades, the best build for Shen, was not to do the double Gwinsu because Gwinsu and Attack Speed was bugged on Shen. You had to make double Stone Plate. So I had that video ready, and they patched it. And I said, well, I can't post this video now because it doesn't make any sense. But that's why there's no Ethereal Blade uh, Shen video on my channel. Or maybe, maybe I did post it when it was bugged. I don't remember. Uh, and then the one Yorick time I posted was when I had Caretaker's Yorin and then it gave me Yorick and then it gave me Midnight Siphon. That was so funny. Those are both on my channel somewhere. Anyways, um, for now, we'll just sit. I'm kind of chilling for a little bit. I'm too healthy, so I'm holding a bunch of Dryad units as well. The reason I'm holding the Dryad units is because basically when you're playing too healthy, you just want to play a board that has a lot of two costs. Um, I think the Lux board doesn't have enough two costs as a reroll, so it's a little bit difficult. Um, this board where you're playing, uh, like, uh, playing around Dryad reroll, which I think I posted like one or two days ago, you can play with two healthy, but the board that usually is the best with it is, uh, the Shen boards, because not only do you get a lot of value of playing two costs, uh, Shen usually have a lot of armor, and then HP scales up the Shen and makes them like a giga tank, as well as makes the whole board kind of tanky, and when you're ghostly, you really care about your front line, as well as your units living as long as possible to make sure that they could rack up those ghostly stacks so that you went out. Uh, anyways, we'll do our little, uh, our little giveaway talk right now. Hello. So we reached our sub goal of 500 YouTube subs. We're going to be doing another TFT RP giveaway. You must be subscribed, join the Discord, and then join the giveaway in the TFT giveaway channel. This particular giveaway will end on July 17th. Um, if you want to know how to join the Discord, there is a link to my Discord in each of the YouTube videos. I'll also make a comment about it. You click it, it will launch the app. You go into the Discord, uh, you'll see that you join the Wolfgang Discord. That's my stream and... Uh, Twitch and YouTube Discord, and then I have the TFT giveaway channel, and then basically you'll just go here, you'll enter the giveaway by pressing the button, and I believe there'll be, uh, I'm, I'm deciding, I think there's going to be only one winner this time for 1350 RP, so if you would like to enter, please make sure to enter the giveaway in the Discord, and thank you, thank you for watching my videos, and thank you for the support. Alright, so another announcement, probably later, I don't know when, I'm kind of trying to figure it out. But I'm going to start doing like art commissions and at the same time I'll also do like a merch drop or like have like some merch items available. Um, and then I want to like, uh, but I'm kind of waiting until I feel a bit better. If you don't know, uh, I I've been talking about it in my Discord, but I've basically been like pretty sick because of the heat and uh, just like general stomach issues. 
So, you know, I'm trying to do, like, the bare minimum. I haven't been playing a lot. I haven't been live a lot. I'm hoping that I feel better. I'm trying to, like, rest up because as soon as, like, set 12 comes out, I really want to, like, play a huge amount and uh, start posting a bunch of videos for that. But, yeah, starting next week, it'll be mostly set 12. You might see it in, like, the banners and some of the ads on my videos, like, around it. Uh, there'll be, like, some merch stuff that will show up in the next couple days. I'll talk about it more in another video. Uh, but anyways, we're just kind of chilling now. I'm just kind of filling the air. Uh, with reroll comms, I, I have, I don't know what to talk about a lot of these videos, so I'm trying to be, like, as entertaining as possible. I have two shens. I'm pretty much committed. I'm not slamming items because I don't know exactly which direction I'm going to go. Um, I think the Zyra comp is better with two healthy. So, like, if I go, well, we could probably just show the stats, actually. So, let's go, like, here. Let's go stats. Um, and if I go, like, uh, two healthy. Uh, sorry, I have to type it out. Two healthy. Uh, you'll see that it averages pretty pretty decently. Um, I think the units that are best, it says Kane, Morgana, Irelia. These are all like really high roll situations. But look, it says like Zoe is really good, right? So this was like the indication that like I think a lot of the times, obviously it's like Shen, but you're usually playing that like Zoe, uh, Zyra, Zoe board, and then usually you can cap out really high. So like when you have Kane and Morgana, that's like the the standard ghostly board, right? So if you're playing like the standard dual support, so for example, uh, Senna, and then you hit um, eight ghostly, or sorry, six ghostly, that's when Shen and Morgana really matter. And then these are all like really high roll situations. Like obviously if you're playing um, Wukong on your board, it means that you probably made it to level nine with one of those reroll comps, etc. Right, something like that. Uh, but basically if you're going on your team builder, uh, you're basically just playing towards Shen. Uh, let, me, let me click all the units. It's Shen, this, this, this this it would probably be easier if i went in alphabetical order right <laughs> but you know i'm not yeah let's not let's not talk about that who am i missing uh usually play what morgana right is that seven units i think that's seven let's rearrange this put you here put you up here how many is this oh and then uh diana that's what i was missing there we go uh, so typically your board looks something like this, right? You're just stacking a bunch of sages as well as ghostly, right? Uh, typically you're going to be itemizing Zyra and Zoe. The items for Zyra and Zoe are kind of awkward. There's different item builds, but typically with Zyra, I think the best, I think the items, I looked it up once, It's it could change, right? But a lot of times you don't super greed your items. You really just want like some rendition of casting and attack speed. Um, but you're usually okay with any of the AP items. But I think a lot of times it's like Shoujin, Nashers, and then... Uh, if she's like your main damage deal, it's usually maybe like Rabadons. And then on the other unit, you probably want Shiv at one point or Shiv, right, as your shred. But you can also just make it towards Shen. And then typically you're just itemizing Shen. You're going for 3-star Zyra and 3-star Shen, as well as 3-star Zoe. And then if you can, 3-star everybody else, right? So typically you don't really stop. You kind of sit on level 8 and you just roll down everything. And on level 6 and level 7, it's really hard to fit in this comp on level 6. It's not like the ghostly board where it has like a nice level 6 and then you have to just go to level 8 if you're playing around Senna. If you're playing around Zyra or Zoe, um, a lot of times you're kind of stuck on level 7 and then you either have to make, you usually drop the Diana, right? Because the 4 ghostly is so important that it's a little bit better than having the Sage in. But you get like a lot of spike from uh, leveling to level 8. But that means that you still have to make it to level 7 because if you're not level 7, you have to drop something. And it makes it like really, really awkward to play the board. And then Shen, you're simply stacking like stuff like Gargoyles, right? Because he's going to be a solo frontline unit, you just want him to have a shit ton of armor. Uh, you make Gargoyle because uh, it gives him armor and magic resist, as well as it gives him additional armor and magic resist if multiple units are targeting him. Uh, if you're itemizing primary Zoe, uh, you can put very similar items on Zoe. I think Zoe in our max cap is something like something like this, right? Or, or JG instead of... Uh, instead of uh like either jg or uh rabadons because with zoe you care a lot, a lot more about one shotting that's what i talked about before uh but like i said the items don't really matter too too much um because like like if you look at these units they're pretty flexible in what items you can make you usually just want like a really good mana item on them uh even shojin works on zoe if, if you look at the stats i'm pretty sure uh but and you want like some rendition of like attack speed and just like doing a bunch of damage right but i wouldn't stress out too much uh here uh, I'm itemizing Zoe. I have Zyra pair. So basically, I, I basically like uh, went to 3-1. Uh, I found a couple copies of everything, which is pretty good. So I'm in a good spot for this particular comp. I got a bunch of AP item drops. If I got AD items, you can pivot this board into just playing Senna in the back line. And then you just play all the Ghostlies and Senna. And then you play like Ink Shadow Senna build. 
I'm able to reroll the augment. New recruit is so powerful. So the reason new recruit is powerful is remember I just said um, with the comp, it's very hard to fit in this comp on level six. You want to roll on level six because it gives you really good odds of finding um, a lot of your two cost units, right? Typically Zyra as well as Shen. So that matters a lot. Um, the problem is also we pick AP Kale here. Both our backlines are AP. So that's what I mean by the item. Sometimes like you can make it work because a lot of times you want like giga AP items on the units, but you also get AP from Kale. Uh, it's a bit weird, but it's totally fine. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Here I have two healthy, so I would ideally like to just shove in an extra two cost. So, you know, we'll just probably throw in Lux. Uh, I just throw in Aatrox for this turn, whatever. Uh, but this is what I mean, right? This is level six, so we can fit in Story Weaver. Uh, I'm fitting in Ultras. I'm just kind of playing like whatever. I don't have four Ghostly yet anyways, so there's no reason to like force it in any way. I itemized Zoe here because I, I I honestly, like, I might be wrong here. I don't know who's right. I, I didn't put enough work into the current patch to understand this comp well enough to know who I should put items on. Uh, I would rather have items on a Zoe 1 than a Zyra 2, right? If I don't hit a lot of Zoe's, I'll just sell it and I'll transfer the items after if I hit Zyra 3. That's my thought process. Like, I think a Zoe 1 is stronger than a Zyra 1. So I made like good Zyra items here and I'm kind of anticipating that I'll hit a Zyra 3. New Recruit, I get a Duplicator, so I'm almost guaranteed to hit at least one kind of frontline unit. Uh, but I honestly think that Zoe just, I, I I feel, I have more faith in Zoe than I do in Zyra. Now Zoe is a very feast or famine character, so maybe I'm a little bit dumb for that. Because I think Zoe does pop off, but Zoe has to get like the first kill. If Zoe doesn't get like the first one or two kills, she just won't ever gain extra ricochets. And uh, that's the way she works. When she kills something, she gains ricochets and everything else. Um, as you can see, because we're playing Riven, we can always basically play this Soraka. Soraka is nice to have because she just gives armor to everybody, right? So just uh, even though it's not that much armor, it it's it's nice to have extra tanky stats, right? We're already boosting our HP because we have Bruiser in. We're boosting our armor because we have Altruist in. And we're decently strong in this stage, right? Uh, which is nice. We're not particularly rich, right? I did roll. Uh, whenever you're doing a reroll, you always should send it early in stage 3. Preserving HP on stage 3 is very, very important because whether or not you hit on stage 4, uh, you want to be a lot of HP because you need the HP on stage 4 to actually get the 4 cost, right? You're not trying to hit 3-star everything on stage 3, right? You're trying to slow roll stage 3 and uh, if you have a lot of gold, and then you want in stage 4 when everybody else is spiking, you compensate by them leveling and going to 8 and playing 4 costs, or leveling and playing something else, or rerolls. Uh, you compensate by rolling on stage 4 in order to find your 3 stars somewhere along stage 4. Uh, if you have too low of HP though, then you'll just die out. Uh, here, this is great, Zoe with a tier, I'm down. So, are you down? I'm down. Uh, if you look here though, I don't have tank items, which is pretty bad. Um, I, I got dropped a lot of really good items for this Zoe, so I have three items for Zoe. I have to take Zoe with Tier. Tier can be a tank item, right? Like, you can make Protector's Vow, which is really good on Shen if you look at the stats. I think even Redemption is okay on Shen, um, just because it's like damage reduction and it recovers HP, so it works out pretty well. So that's my goal with this. Uh, we don't have that many Shens, we're really hoping to hit something else. Something I didn't talk about, um, it's the, it's the item... Uh, what's it called? It's the Augment Galaxy where you can reroll all the Augments. Now, I think New Recruit is probably the best thing I could hit uh, because this comp really struggles to play properly on level 6 as well as level 7, right? I can basically finish the game on level 7 and I can play like a very, very strong and complete board on level 7 and I'll feel really comfy, right? The pro Here, I didn't position around the locks. This is my bad. Uh, I might lose this fight just because I didn't position properly. God damn it. Uh, but anyways, what I was trying to say is that um, with this reroll, it's very awkward, right? You get a lot of power jump from going from 6 to 7, but you want to roll a lot of your gold on level 6 because you need to hit, like, this Shen or this Zyra. Um, and if you want to roll on level 7 for Zoe, that's totally fine if you have a bunch of Zoes and you're just playing towards Zoe primary. But then you still get a big spike from going from 7 to 8. And New Recruit basically gives me, like, the extra option. It gives me, like, the extra, uh, space on my board in order to hit that extra unit. So even though it's not like a prismatic combat, it's pretty much like one of the best things you can hit um, a lot of times with this comp. Just just from like, not from a, this is the best thing. I, I didn't look at, like, I'm not coming from a stats perspective in New Recruit. I'm saying conceptually with this comp, it's really important to uh, be level 7 because it doesn't quite fit on level 6. And if you're rolling on level 6, which I planned, which I planned to do this game, um, it's the safest option, right? The problem is, is that because everybody's allowed to reroll their augments because of the encounter, 
Um, I started with two healthy. There's like two people with like hero augments. There's a bunch of people like this guy's gonna be playing reapers with baboom or duelist with I don't know if duelist with baboom is worth anything, but like I don't know what's going on. Everybody's gonna be very very strong because they can basically tailor their augments to work really well with whatever their start was. And a lot of people have I think a better spot than me. Uh, this comp isn't a very high cap comp, right? If you're thinking about playing Ghostly Zyra, Zoe, I don't know how it fits in your respective lobbies. I don't know what you've seen. I definitely do not think this comp is like a top one comp, right? This isn't a comp where you play it and you go first all of the time. This is a comp where like in most cases you are going like, you know, uh, I, I would say in my experience, I go bot four most of the time, right? It's, it's a very low cap comp. Um, it's very good if you hit the units. If you hit them early enough and you can level to like 9 and find like a Wukong and some other crazy shit. Like a Wukong Rakan and some shit. It's like, yeah, of course. It, it'll probably cap really high. Um, anyways, here I'm just kind of rolling a little bit. I'm holding on to a bunch of units because I'm kind of like not too sure. I am very close to Zyra. I, I think I'm one off Zyra 3, which is really awkward. I shouldn't have upgraded the Zoe. That's my biggest mistake here. Um, I don't know how much it's going to cost me. Um, remember I was saying I, I think Zoe is better than Zyra, but I'm so close to Zyra 3 that I should have, uh, I should have, yeah. This is what I mean by, by new recruit, see? So this is level 6 now, and this is what I was saying. See, I can fit in 4 Ghostly, 3 Story Weaver, 2 Sage, 2 Arcanist, 2 Bruiser. I can fit the comp in on level 6, and then on level 7, I can either play Diana or Soraka. I think Diana's better, um, but Soraka also works. Like, both of them are fine, in my opinion, at least. It depends, like, how your armor is. Uh, the problem is I didn't get a tank item, right? Uh, I, o I only got to drop one component off of the, uh, off of, uh, what's it called? Birds? No, uh, wolves? I got to drop just the, uh, the glove. So I'm in an awkward spot now where I don't really have a good front line. And this comp really, really needs you to have, like, good items on Shen, or else you're kind of fucked. So, I already I feel like my spot's really bad. I think my biggest problem, though, was that I upgraded this Zoe. And then here, it's like, it's Silver Augment. Band of Thieves is probably the best thing I can do. Um, because none of the other ones really matter too much in my spot. Um, but the biggest problem was upgrading the Zoe. Because basically, if I have just one Zoe, and I have two Zoes, I, like, I found three, right? But I should have sold it, and put the items on the Zyra. Because the chances are I'm gonna hit Zyra 3 here, um, on this rolldown. And it's just really bad for me. See, like, now I could have, I could duplicate and make a Zyra 3. But I'm really reluctant to do that because now my items are on the Zoe. I should probably still swap the items off the Zoe. But as you can see, I'm rolling basically for anything. I hit the Zyra. It's just it's just so awkward. Um, and then I don't want to Thieves Glove Shen because I want good items on Shen. So I Thieves Glove Zalawi. <sighs> you know what the problem is? I'm halfway to Zoe 3 as well, right? I honestly think if I hit Zoe 3, I have a better chance of winning out. And I have the Duplicator. So that technically, I only need like two more Zoe's, or sorry, three more Zoe's. And I, I think, so I just decide to greed. This is what I mean by I should have just done it earlier. I should have just put items on Zyra from the get-go. Because the problem is now, is that I'm, I have like this sunk cost. Because I, I have so much faith in Zoe as a unit. That I'd rather just like keep the Zoe too, than sell the Zoe. Because basically like in this lobby, everybody's already, I already feel like everybody's really strong. And I already feel like I'm a little bit behind. Because I don't have Shen upgraded either, right? I have uh, just Zyra upgraded. Uh, I don't know. Do I sell it? This, this, see, you can see I'm debating in the game. I think the correct decision here, if you're playing for placements, you sell it. The problem is, number one, I feel like everybody else is really strong, right? Because everybody's really strong, I'm worried about my board strength towards the end of the game. That's the reason why I'm being indecisive, right? And I still don't know what the correct decision is. Because if you sell the Zoe, you're kind of admitting to yourself that you're not going for Zoe 3. But I have 78 HP, even though the rest of the lobby is strong as shit. By the way, this guy, as you can see, Nico, uh, with Radiant Stone Play, which I think is her best item. I don't imagine myself ever beating this guy, which kind of sucks. Uh, but it, it, it's like two schools of thought, right? It's like, do I want to go for max cap? If I want to go for max cap, I don't sell the Zoe, and I sack the HP. Because I either sack the HP as a resource, or I sack the fact that I have a Zoe too, right? It's one or the other. Um, if I put items on Zyra, I think that I will win more rounds this stage. I will preserve more HP, but I have a harder time capping out everybody else. And there's a chance that I just don't go top four. That happens to me a lot. Whenever I itemize Zyra, I don't know if it happens to you. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys decide in the comments, right? 
Um, I think that the correct decision in if I was if I was 10 less HP, if I was like 50 HP here, I would sell the Zoe and itemize the Zyra. But because I'm I'm 65 and I'm second highest HP in the lobby, I'm like nah. I'll sack a couple rounds. I'll roll for Zoe three. I'll hit both of them. It'll be fine. Also, what the fuck did I take off Carousel? I took. Oh, there's no tank item, so I have to make uh oh I have to make adaptive helm. It's probably adaptive helm's Shen. But I don't want Adaptive Elf Shen. Oh, god damn it. That's actually really bad. Because then I'm left with Glove and I have no Shred component. So I don't want to make Adaptive Helm. I want to hold on to both of those for Shred. See, and now I'm rolling and now I have another Zoe. Ah, I'm only, I'm, I'm like two off Zoe. I'm one off Zoe now. See, this is what I mean. I, I, I feel like it's not crazy to keep the Zoe in. But basically I'm rolling here because I'm basically one off of both of these. So if I hit a Shen or a Zoe, I'm just going to commit the Duplicator. Yeah, I, I, I think I should. Uh, oh boy, I'm greedy. Okay, that one, that that one sucks. Okay, I think I should have just made Shen three. <laughs> oh, I guess there's no item Shen. God damn it. Uh, and I'm finding this all in level six, right? Because I'm rolling on six to make sure I hit Shen three. I guess it's because I, I'd rather just see if I get one more Zoe. Oh, that's so greedy. Do I win this fight? I would have won this fight with Shen three, right? Uh, probably not. Actually, radiant, radiant last whisper. It's a close fight. I think that's fine. Yeah, sell the shitters. Uh, try and find the last copy of each of them. And then level to 8. Level to 7. I could fit in Diana or Soraka. Or another too healthy person, right? Too healthy person. I can play like a Yorick, right? Because too healthy sometimes changes the comp a little bit. As long as you have like uh, the health from too healthy sometimes is a little bit better in some fights. Mm, do I roll the 10 here? Okay, I found the Shen, so... I guess that's fine. I'm just rolling for one Zoe. Yeah, yeah. So this is what I was saying. This is what I was saying before. This is what I mean, right? I sacked basically 20 HP, right? So it's 20 HP for Zoe 3. I don't know if this is better or not. Like, legitimately, this is what I'm saying. I don't actually know. And I need to, like, see the stats on it in a better way. But I'm not going to put in the work because the set's over, right? Uh, so, I, so unfortunately, I can't tell you what the correct decision is here. But I'm pretty sure the correct decision was to sell Zoe, put items on Zyra, then just Econ Max and try and go to level 9. I think that was probably a better idea than just rolling on 6 and hitting the Zoe 3. Because the problem is I don't have um, a good front line because I have 0 items for the Shen. So I'm pretty sure that in most of these fights, I'm just not going to hit the Shen. Um, or I'm not going to like stall out long enough for my Shen to help, right? So if you look at this fight, this is the fight where Zoe's going to go nuts. I'm pretty sure she's going to kill like 5 units right before the fight ends. Never mind, she killed nothing. But, <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, uh, I wish I had a Shen item. I think if I had a Shen item, I think everything would have been better. I think because I have no Shen items, I shouldn't have gone for Zoe 3. I should have pushed levels. Because the only thing that makes my board stronger, like having the Zoe 3 doesn't, Zoe 3 doesn't matter because my Shen doesn't get enough ghostly stacks anyways. Right? I should have leveled to play another frontline unit. And then if I could have greeted my levels, like if I was like 70 HP here, well, let's say I didn't lose a fight because I had uh, three items on Zyra instead of losing those first two fights, I would have been like 60 HP, right? If I was 60 HP here, I could have also greeted level eight, uh, rebuild my econ, and I could have also maybe gone nine and play like set, uh, six ghostly on level nine, right? Or sorry, level eight, because I'm only level six, right? Because level, level eight, I have new recruits, I have an extra spot. So I can literally just fit in something disgusting. Also, like, what the fuck is these items? I think I just have to make a stone plate. I have to make... Oh, no, I don't have spark. Oh, god. Oh, my items are so bad. How do I not get dropped a single fucking tank item the whole game? Like, look at my items. Glove, glove. Uh, rod, sword. Belt, bow, rod, rod, sword, glove. Sword, glove. <laughs> oh, my god. I have no shred. That's so bad. Okay, we just make a Zyra. I think it's the best use of my items. I think I need a tank item more than I need shred at this point. And maybe it was maybe it was green kale because my items were so bad. That's crazy that I just like it was either spark or stone plate. I think I think spark. I think spark helps. Ah, it's rough. It's a rough game. Like stone plate helps my my dude stack more ghostly. And I think the ghostly is gonna do more damage than the um the other thing, right? Like this fight, I think I win because of ghostly stacks, right? Like I, I don't think if my if my uh if my Shen had uh if my Shen had Spark, I don't think I win that fight, right? 
Uh, 12 to level. Yeah, it's cheap as fuck because I'm so broke. Yeah, put this is what I mean. This is too healthy value. Yorick in this comp is really like an underrated thing. It, it's it's just like in these dire situations. I call it dire. Obviously, I'm second highest HP. Uh, the thing is, I know that I'm going to drop like a rock. Uh, I have no faith in this comp whatsoever. Excuse me, whatsoever. I'm kind of just playing it for you, the people. Uh, you, the people sitting at home watching this. I did this for you, all right? Because I hate reroll. And the patch is kind of reroll, but I'd rather just like go first or eighth playing around a four cost, right? Because this shit is so stupid sometimes. Uh, like, like I, this game I hit, obviously. Like, this game I hit a lot of them. There's some games where it's like 5-2 and I don't hit anything. And I'm uncontested, I'm just rolling. And it's just like, oh great, yeah, I guess I'm eighth. I didn't hit anything. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is still like a fourth, right? I, I think I'm so far behind because I have new recruits. I don't have a prismatic combat, right? So I, I pretty much have no combat augments in all of my in all of my augment choices this game. So I honestly think that uh, I'm going to get out capped really fast, right? I think this guy is going to absolutely ream me. I think this guy is going to absolutely ream me. And I have a lot of HP, but I threw away some of it to go for this Zoe 3. And I think that I think that um, I, I think it's just over. Uh, probably Moonstone. Uh, it helps on my front line the most, right? Uh, Aegis, it's Aegis or Moonstone. Uh, because Aegis gives attack speed and armor, so it helps out like everybody, and I can just clump them a little bit. But I think it's just Moonstone. I actually don't know if the, like, I don't know. When, when I when I played a lot, Moonstone was always the most broken shit. I have so few Shen items, I think I'm just going to put Moonstone on Shen, right? Because Moonstone gives HP, right? It's, it's 250 HP. It has to be worth something. And Shen's not going to die. If Shen dies, I think the round's over anyways, right? So I don't really care about Moonstone being in a backline unit. Yeah, and then put Zyra in the backline. Yeah, that's, this, this looks fine. Moonstone is a huge hit here. Um, maybe Virtue of the Martyr would have been better if I had that option. Uh, but I think it's the best. Aegis, is, Aegis maybe was better. I don't think Aegis is better, though. I think, I think Moonstone's better. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna chew up everybody that doesn't have a real board. Like this guy, easy clap. Because I have Zo now I have Zoe three. Like I definitely beat these guys. I definitely need another Shen item. I need like a real Shen item or a Spark. I need a Spark or a Shiv actually. The problem is I don't think I ever beat the Nico player. I don't think I ever beat the uh, this guy, the uh, the Garen player. So I'm at best third. So I'm basically playing for third this whole game. And if I was playing for third this whole game. I should have just pushed levels, right? Because I don't think playing for max cap is worth it. Uh, it's probably Shiv here. Is there a tank item for, for Shen? Uh, there's just this one cost, right? Yeah, it's probably just that. Any tank item will do. Oh, do I put on Zyra though? And I, do I greed for a tank item? I think I just put on Shen. If I put on a Zyra, that, that, that that's so stupid. Uh, I know I'm going to put on Zyra probably. Watch. I know. I know In my heart, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something really dumb here probably. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I'm so fucking... Put on Shen! Oh. God damn it. Okay, that's why... I, okay, I'm probably going fourth now. <laughs> you know, I said that I was going to be at best a third... Uh, I think it's a fourth for sure now. I think it's for sure a fourth now. I don't see how I don't go fourth from here. Oh yeah, yeah, like that's gonna help. Put the put the Morgana in the front because you fucked up your items. Oh my god. Okay, it, it, okay, this should have been on Shen, right? Uh, let's be honest here. This should have been on Shen. Um, I don't need more damage. The person that I'm playing for fourth place with is this guy, and this guy's gonna kill my backline anyways. It doesn't matter that she has adaptive helm, right? Uh, as you can see, like imagine if my Shen was living a little bit longer and there's a little bit more ghostly stacks. I might have killed a couple more units. Yeah, that that's a that's a big that's a big one. I think it's a fourth. Cause that guy I need to beat, right? And now now I'm lower HP than everybody else. There's just this guy, and I think that's the guy that just beat me. And I'm not beating anybody else, right? They're all way too high cap. So I could have either, I could have gotten third this game if I preserved HP better, which I greeted way hard in the middle game. And now I'm greeting again. Why do I think that I can win out here? I think I'm just too dumb. Yeah, this is such a bad play. Oh, now I just fucked up my Kale. God damn it. This guy's this guy's literally like level 9. Fucking this guy 2 star Aegis stacking. Ugh, he doesn't have healing on his Garen though. Maybe that's why I thought I could beat him. 
Man, oh, if he gets Irelia, I, I, I'm pretty sure I win this fight, right? There's no way I lose this fight. Yeah, this guy's cooked, right? Oh, wait, no, never mind. I lose this horribly. How could I win this fight? I could win this fight if my if my Goldsley stacks go better, I could beat this guy. Straight up. That sounds crazy, but his Garen doesn't have healing. Right? Whenever you when you make um when you make um these items, right, you need to put um Declaw on Garen. Right? If you're playing Story Champion, um Dragon Claw on Garen is how he heals all of his health. Because Declaw recovers based on maximum HP. And if he has just, uh, if he doesn't have, uh, he has no healing item. He has Sterex, he has, uh, what's it called? He has Sterex, he has, uh, Archangels, and he has, uh, what's it called? Uh, Titans, right? Titans is pretty useless. Sterex is, like, really good, but it's, like, not super useful because it just, like, it, it does, like, maximum HP, right? And it gives you, like, and then, uh, uh Archangels only scales his maximum HP. Right, it scales his AP, which translates to some damage a little bit, but not really. It, it mostly just scales his HP really high. Ah, uh, now I'm level 8. Oh, I could have had the nastiest board. Oh, uh, now I don't have a Shen item. This is why I should have just put this on Shen. Ah, uh, that, that was so greedy. I thought for sure I'd hit a Shen item, and now I just hit Shred. And now I have Altruist in. Like, I can definitely... I could have I could have gotten third for sure this game. I, I'm not beating the Nico player, and I'm not beating the, uh, the Garen player. But I could have easily gone third if I just play a little bit better. And that, these, these placements are the ones that matter because like if you can get one spot better in every one of your games, that will increase your average placement by one. And a lot of times your average placement is like a 4.5. If you can increase your average placement from a 4.5 to a 3.5, you'll literally hit challenger, right? That's the way you should always think about it. So every game, if you can think about one placement that you can improve on, yeah, I could have easily... Oh, if I preserved like 5 more HP, I'm pretty sure the other guy's dead too. There's no way the other guy beat the Garen guy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. If I if I didn't greed 1 or 2 turns, I uh, it's a difference of 7 HP, and I would have got 3rd. I wasn't hitting anything better than 3rd, by the way. Uh, but I could have gotten 3rd this game. Yeah, these guys are always going to win. It's just, like the, it's just like the Giga setup, right? They just have... um, They have really good augments for their units. And they were, they were able to reroll them, and they hit early, both of them, right? Sometimes with this Nico board, you never hit Nico, and sometimes with Garen, you don't hit Garen for a while. They both hit Giga early. This guy, I think I tossed when I played him, because I could have, if I had Gar I could have saved a little bit of HP, but this Lux board is just fucking annoying, and nobody ever contested, and even when they do, this board still manages to fucking top four. I hate it now. Uh, yeah, I could have gone third for sure. Anyways, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is like another version of the ghostly board. You can see how it works and how I played a little bit differently. Um, I think overall, I feel like I played it well up until I greeted a lot. I think I was playing way too greedy. Like I was playing as if I had a chance to win out and I had to understand that I don't have a chance to win out. So that's just my bad. So sorry about that, but hopefully it was still a fun video. I, f I thought it was pretty fun the way it went down. Uh, but yeah, it's, 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 it's prioritized three items on Shen. Uh, before the Zyra. The Zyra never does anything in my head. It's like it's never worth it. I have too many Thieves Gloves as well, which, you know, ideally they're good, but a lot of my component drops. I guess my components were also really awkward. Ah, uh, it's fine. And then I needed to take Shred at one point, because Shred is really important. Uh, especially against, like, the, uh, the Nico player. But I don't think I beat the Nico player anyways. Probably just another Shen item. Oh, well. Uh, hopefully that was enjoyable. Have a great rest of day. I think tomorrow's gonna be reaction to set 12, so look forward to that. And yeah, uh, have fun. See ya.